going on guys welcome to some more videos and I'm going to be here doing a very special video now I'm back doing my regular uh, schedule I know I've been missing for a little bit uh, streaming wise and recording wise and uploading wise so we're gonna be back and guess what I got some news regarding the very very good guilty gear that I dropped for a while now now if you guys are fans of guilty gear you're in luck because there's some pretty big news going on right now. Let's let's get to it, okay, guys? So we're gonna get to this news really quick. All right. So I bet you guys have all heard of the news that there's gonna be new characters and another Guilty Gear iteration coming to. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like that at all. Them taking the Capcom way, you know what I mean? So. They would release other versions of the game, other than their vanilla versions, with patches and uh, characters, and sell it for a uh, very re non-reasonable price. You know what I mean? Um, so they're doing it with Guilty Gear. They did it with Blaze Blue. They did it with um, no. They, they just did it with Blaze Blue. Uh, so now they're doing it with Guilty Gear. Now, of course, they've done it before. Accent Core too. Accent Core, just a bunch of Accent Core variations. But of course, it's not like a separate separate game at least I don't think it is I could be wrong about that leave a uh, leave a comment uh, I'm actually quite curious about that so here is the new news that we got today oh not today but recently uh, and of course I'm not up to date on these I'm just giving my initial reaction and what I think about this I kind of like it. I haven't seen this yet I haven't read this yet I was waiting to do this video right here so we have a new character we already have the character Johnny, okay? Johnny's already coming into Guilty Gear. Oh, I think it's called Guilty Gear... What's it called? Guilty Gear... Da, 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 da. Um, what the heck? What is it? Uh, Jacko, Guilty Gear... I can't remember what it's called. Re 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 relevant? Re relevant? I think it's called? I don't know what it's called. Rev something. Um... But let's read this real quick. Let's see what this has to say. There's been a lot of mystery uh, surrounding Guilty Gear's newest character, even beginning with her name, Jack Ghost, calls forth thoughts of Halloween, spooky ghosts, or trick-or-treating. Recent footage from a location test shows her fighting style matching the dark and mischievous nature of the Halloween decoration she's named after. From walking to the top of a ball, summoning what looks like to be tiny demons. What? Players can expect some pretty unique gameplay from her. All right. Also shown is Jack Ghost's victory pose, bobbing in her left hand, uh, it is her jack-o'-lanterns mask that one might wear for some mischief or murder. Quickly, however, she seems to change her mind, opting to spin out around and eat some candy instead. Sounds smexy. So, this is the character right here. Holy, hmm. I was thinking... So, she is a female. And, uh, you can see by the long hair and everything like that. But she, I guess she wears a mask. And, oh my gosh! Adorable. Oh, okay. So let's see this right here. Hold on. Let's finish it. I really want to click on this right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do you think of the character design so far? Is it up to level? Many as expected. The Guilty Gear Narc system works, or is it attacking comparison? But it, they're basically telling us if they that they like it. Oh my gosh. What is this? Hold on. Wow. So let's see. Let let let's see this. Th okay. She summons what seems to be demons, like just how the article was, was saying. Summons demons, and I think it restarts right here. She's she goes on a ball. That's strange. So I guess her walk speed isn't the greatest, uh, but it seems like she's not gonna be the most mobile. I think she sets traps. Um, there's yeah, she's over with the mask. Summons demons. Um, whatever those are. That's very Faust-like, I think. Um, very Faust-like. She seems kind of Faust-like. Running on a ball, you know, and everything like that. So, okay, that's, that seems pretty cool. She looks pretty interesting. And here's her victory pose. Uh-huh. Ooh, booty! Eat that can- Oh my gosh! I'm in love. Oh my gosh, I'm in love, guys! Oh my goodness, she looks super hype. So from the looks of it, she looks really, her character design looks really cool. Of course, she fits like the waifu type. Uh, people would like her. She is a very beautiful, very um, kind of like cute kawaii character when her mask is off, of course. And of course, she shows the booty to get some fan service in there, just like they do how with Elfelt when she takes out the, the certificate out of her, her badonkadonks. 
So she's eating the candy, and a lot of people like that. I personally love that. For example, with Coco, Coco Noe from Blaze Blue, she she does that, and I find that very appealing. I like the candy thing that they, they gave her. The trick or treat, the Halloween thing theme that they gave her. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new character, and they gave her kind of like a Halloween theme, which actually I like. It's actually really nice. You know, Guilty Gear has these themes, these very weird kind of quirky themes going on to them. For example, like Faust is like a really senile doctor. Uh, let's see, we got. Uh, well, who else do we have? We have Slayer, who's like a sub, uh, vampire that's super seductive. Of course, that. Okay, that, that that's reasonable. A seductive vampire. I mean, come on. Um, you know, you got different other characters like that um, that just really have quirky themes and quirkiness to them. And you know, that's how just, that's how I, I always thought Guilty Gear was like. Had these really really quirky things. And they're giving her like the Halloween theme. I like her. She seems really cool. Of course, we haven't seen enough of her yet to actually figure out if she's gonna be good or if she's gonna be. But so far, from I'm like I'm liking the look of her. Uh, she, it's a really good look. I really like the Halloween theme that they're going for her. I think is really cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. Jacko's been confirmed uh, as of late. Uh, let's see, when was this? June 6. What day is it today? Yesterday. This was yesterday. Man, I'm really late on this stuff. So I'm really excited to hear some more news about this character, and I'm excited to hear more news about other characters in Guilty Gear. Because one of the main reasons why I dropped off of Guilty Gear is because mainly I didn't, I didn't. There's no characters I really appeal to in that character and in that game. I mean, the closest thing I got to is not Elfelt because people told me to play, told me to play Elfelt, and uh, I mean Elfelt, I just couldn't connect with her that much. Uh, but I really like Kai. Kai was really cool. That's the closest thing I got to uh, connecting with a character in that game. But after I kind of dropped off of it, I might uh, with the new characters uh, like Johnny. I really like Johnny's design. I just I think Johnny's my favorite Guilty Gear character. So that might light the Guilty Gear spark back up. Uh, but for right now, Jacko's been confirmed. Uh, she looks really cool, and I can't wait to see some more information on her. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Peace out.